Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, this time around I'm going to do a bit of a tutorial. Um, some people have been asking for it because a lot of people after these updates have issues with their game. Um, so if you are having an issue with your game, the first thing you're definitely going to want to do is try to repair your game. Um, so basically you would just click and it will basically go through and verify your game files and make sure that all your files are there, all your files are okay, and if there's anything going on with like any of the files or just one little teeny tiny file is missing, um, it should fix that. Um, so definitely always try to um, do the was repair having an game. issue with my game. Definitely the first thing I want to try is to repair my game. Um, most people know about this, but sometimes, you know, people might not know. So what I'm going to teach you how to do is how to basically reinstall your game or create a vanilla game, as I like to call it, without actually reinstalling. Um, this could save you a bit of time, because I know that sometimes uninstalling a large game like The Sims, excuse me, could really take a long time to get it off your computer and then get it back on. So this should kind of give you a little bit of an idea of how long this takes. It does take a few minutes. So... I'm just going to wait for that to get done. Okay guys, so it's done and it will come up and it will say that it's ready to play. And after you've done that, you definitely want to click play, go in, see if the bug's fixed, see if the glitch is fixed, see if it will actually load, and if it has not been fixed. What you want to do is you want to go into your computer and go into your documents. And you want to find your electronic arts folder, which for me is right here. And then you want to find the Sims 4 folder. Now what you want to do is you want to rename this folder. Usually what I do is just rename it to the Sims 4 old. And then you're going to close that out and go back to origin and you're going to click play. Okay guys, so once in game, this is what your game should look like after you've renamed that file. Um, you shouldn't be able to load any games, um, there shouldn't be any of those in there. And yeah, so that's what should happen after you click play. And then you're just going to want to go back out of your game. Okay, so now that you've gone in and you have made sure that all your saves and everything is gone and it's opening up as it would if you have just purchased the game and just installed it, you want to go back into your documents, back into your electronic arts folder, and now you will see there's a brand new generated The Sims 4 folder. If you go into it, you will notice that your mods are not there if you have any. And you'll also notice that your saves are not there. So, in order to get those back, you want to open up another window and go into your documents, find your electronic arts folder, and go into the Sims 4 old folder. This is the folder that's going to contain all your mods if you have any. So, if you want these mods, what you're going to want to do is just highlight them all and then you want to put them into this new The Sims 4 folder. So you'd go into Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, Mods, and you'd take all the mods from the old folder and put them in the new one. And then you want to go back out, go into your saves, and you'll notice all your saves are gone because it's generated this new folder. 
So what you want to do is you want to go into the Sims 4 old folder right here, go into the saves and all of your saves are still here. They actually haven't been deleted. So you just want to highlight all of it and you want to drag it into that new folder. And if it asks you to um, replace files, you click yes. You want to move and replace. And now all of your saves should be back in your game. And also, before I forget, if you want, now that you have transferred all your saves, all your mods, you definitely want to go in and make sure that your mods are there, your saves are there. Um, I'm not actually going to show that because it's pretty simple. Just start your game back up, see if it's working. If it's working, double check, make sure your saves are there, and make sure your mods are there. Before you go and delete this Sims folder, I cannot stress this enough, do not delete the Sims 4 old folder until you have made sure that your saves are loading, working, playing, what have you. Then you can delete this folder. Um, so yeah, if your game still isn't working, um, I guess as a last resort you'll definitely have to reinstall or you can contact Origin. There may just be a known bug and they very well could be working on it. But yeah, so that's all I have for you guys tonight. If you have any questions, definitely comment them down below. I'd be happy to try and help you out the best I can. I know that it's really frustrating when your game does not work. And all you want to do is get your sim on. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment and like it. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, you can definitely check out my channel and subscribe. And, yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.